Yes, in 2013, I was offered this job in Chess24 completely by accident. So as I just told you in the previous question, I was working in Hamburg uh, as a researcher at the university. I didn't have anything to do with chess. I had almost quit. I was not playing tournaments. I was not studying, coaching or whatever. But uh, my good friend, one of my closest friends, uh, the international master from uh, England, Lawrence Trent, he came to visit uh, Hamburg. He came for, for a weekend and he stayed in my place because uh, we met in my city in Granada. He was uh, studying uh, some years ago in my city and then we became really, really close friends. And uh, he told me, Pepe, I'm going to go to Hamburg to record some chess videos for a chess company. And I was thinking, who's going to see some chess videos? Who's going to watch some chess videos nowadays? And uh, yeah, this was Chess24. I didn't even know that Chess24 existed and that it was located in uh, Hamburg, so in the same city the, where I was living. So he said to me, why don't you come over to the company and I introduce you to the guys. And I remember my first day in Chess24, I just met Rustan Kasinjanov. He was working for Chess24 at that time and we spoke a little bit and he offered me to, to start working there. So basically, uh, during 2013 and 2014, uh, I had two jobs. So I went eight hours uh, to university, uh, to my main job, and then I was going like three, four hours to Chess24, where I started uh, doing translations from English to Spanish and from Spanish to English in some chess articles. And then I also was the one who uh, added the exercises of uh, uh, the chess video series of another authors. So I was not recording anything. I was an IM that time. And uh, yes, it was completely by accident uh, how I ended up being uh, working for Chess24.